Hello, Collective! You all go get a little extra reading. I'm gonna keep this shit short, okay? Some y'all really dealing with love. I know Daddy don't really dive into the love a whole lot. I found a reader uh, two days ago. I like I like her energy. I like her style. I get a good vibe from her. Afaji King. A-F-A-J-I-A -A 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 King. K-I-N-G. Uh, check her out if you're drawn to. I, I like I like I like her. I like her. Some of y'all, she's gonna resonate for you, okay? And uh, she's not as filthy as Daddy is, but she gets straight to the point. I like her reading, so check her out, okay, guys? Now, Daddy's getting that feeling in my heart, okay? Some of y'all heartbroken. Something, something's going on in my collective. Woo! God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. Yeah, someone's holding on. Double fours here, guys. They're holding on. Maybe they're regretting what the fuck they did, right? Something has got them stuck. You know, they want to come forward and make an offer. They want to show their emotions, but they're so fucking worried about money. It's money. This is all about fucking money, right? They're turning their back to an opportunity that could be good. The universe could be bringing love into someone's life, but they're more fucking worried about money. Now, how do you think that's going to end for this person, Collective? Okay, I'm feeling this heartbreak in my heart. And y'all, I hate when spirit does that shit. You know that feeling you get? Someone has all this emotion in their fucking heart, but they're more worried about what's in their motherfucking wallet. What's in my wallet? How much money? How much money's here? How much fucking money? Money. You can't be worried about money and be in your fucking heart. Is money that fucking important? Do you look at your wallet and feel that way? I mean, seriously. What the, what the fuck, guys? Spirit, why is this person just holding on to money instead of going after it? being fucking happy in love? You know, you could be broke and be fucking happy, and you could be rich and be fucking miserable. They have all the money in the fucking world, but what number are you on the fucking list? Huh? You gotta lose it in the end. That money ain't gonna be worth shit, or that money can be taken away from you pretty fucking fast, right? Money is just fucking money. Love lasts forever. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus. Y'all be tapping into some fucking energy here. Yeah, someone's someone's dreaming, someone's thinking. There's gonna be someone waiting. What the fuck are they waiting for, huh? They wait until they lose it all and realize when they're broke and they don't have fucking love around them. What a dumbass they were. Because the longer someone waits, the more they're gonna lose. And they're still gonna lose their fucking money. But at the end of the day, they're not only gonna be broke, they're not gonna have anyone around to love them. Right? Or the one that they love, that they're they're pining for, the one they know they should go for, is going to leave their ass because they waited too fucking long. Someone else stepped in and took their place. You know what I mean? Well, they were too busy counting their fucking coins that they're going to lose anyway. So you might as well just take that bundle out that you're so fucking fond of and just burn it. Because the universe is going to uh, remove you of that any damn way. Because the universe is guiding you to open your fucking heart. I'm a, it's like an Ebenezer Scrooge type energy. Someone just so fucking greedy. Now, y'all, uh, this doesn't always have to be in a lover situation. Maybe this is just family, you know, something along that lines. It's someone that's choosing fucking money over, do, over love, over showing emotions, you know. Oh, y'all, I do not like this energy. Yeah, what someone thinks is wish fulfillment. All that money that you're so busy counting, that you're, that you're so in love with, that you think is so fucking great. I told you, you're going to lose it. You're going to lose it in the end. You should have been worried about... uh. Going after your wish fulfillment. What made you happy? Worrying about your emotions, right? Material things can disappear. 
Cars can get crashed. Houses can burn to the ground. Someone could uh, knock you in your head and steal your fucking wallet. Someone could steal your identity and take what the fuck you got. But no one can take the love you have in your heart. The love someone has for you. I'm going to say those of you that lost a child perhaps got a, a child taken away. Maybe a custody battle or some issue like that. CPS, you know. You might not have your child with you physically, but that love is still there. Whew. Yo, this is about emotions. But someone's worried about fucking greed. It's money. It's money. Someone will realize happiness when they realize that money doesn't buy, bring them happiness, right? That money was just a trap. It just trapped you in a position. Look, look at this bull. Broke ass out there, happy as a fucking pig in shit. Because you know what? They're not, there's no restrictions on this person. They're not tied to the fucking money. They don't have a roof over their head. They're not worried about it. Because they know at the end of the day, they're still happiness. They're still sunshine. It's not about the fucking money. It's not about the fucking money. Because that shit can be taken away. It's not about fucking money. Ugh. The Emperor... The Ace of Wands in reverse. And the Ace of Cups. Exactly. Hold it on. Hold it on to what the fuck they got. Even though it's killing any growth in their life. They're just turning their back on their emotions. They're just standing there in their power. I'm, I, I'm important because I'm worth X amount of fucking money. I'm important. Look at all my toys. Look at all my houses. Look at everything I got. Look at everything I got. I'm in charge because I got all these things. I got all these things. Right? Don't get too fucking comfortable there, Emperor. You know, that shit got all burned to the ground and you had nothing. And you have nothing. Material things can be taken. If you don't have emotions, water energy, right? If you don't put forth love, time, and effort into something, it ain't gonna grow. The more you just worry about accumulating things, Eventually, what, what's going to happen, right? If you don't nurture and love and work on growing in a positive manner, what's going to happen? Oh, you can have all the shit in the world. You going to enjoy that alone on your throne? Who are you going to show it off to? You're so fucking conceited and concerned about what the hell you have to show everybody. No one wants to come around you because you're just bragging about the shit you got. But you're going to share it alone. Because you don't know how to nurture and grow a loving relationship. A relationship that's based basically on who the hell you are. Oh, you can have uh, uh, bitches and hoes and women. This could be you and that energy. You could have all the fucking men you want. Yeah, you have plenty of people around as long as you're paying for it. Because you're paying for it. You're buying them shit. You're letting them use your stuff. You're letting them flaunt it. A lot of these energies buy uh, their people's shit just so when they take them out, they know, oh yeah, I bought that outfit, I bought them shoes, I bought the bag, I bought the jewelry, I bought it, I bought it all, and I bought the bitch too, and I bought the dude too.
Ain't no one gonna give two fucks. About loving you or trying to grow a nurturing relationship. Because as long as you got the money, they're gonna be there. You remove the money and you're not the emperor anymore. Now what you gonna do? When you're broke. When you can't pay for people's attention. Five of Wands, Nine of Swords in Reverse, and the Five of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. What happens when the money's gone? What happens when, when you know, people aren't interested in all the shit that you've got? All the shit you've accumulated? Yeah. Conflict. A lot of people just gonna be fighting over your shit, right? They're gonna be fighting over what the hell you got. A lot of them gonna be fighting over to take what the fuck you got. Because maybe, dear, while you fucking around in this energy... You were stupid enough to marry somebody that's just going to take your fucking money. Pop a baby out and get a check. So yeah, you out there flaunting what the fuck you got while other people going to figure out how the hell to take it from you. Because that's what happens. You want to flaunt what the fuck you got? You want to show your abundance? You want to show all your material possessions? Well, you just going to create some conflict. Especially when you being an asshole or a dick or a bitch in this situation just flaunting that shit. Because people are going to be like, who the fuck you think you are? You want to see how that shit goes? I can steal your damn gold Rolex, motherfucker. You could show up in that car, but guess what? We could steal that fucking car. And yeah, I'd still be walking home from the club. You know what I mean? Be careful what you flaunt. Because it's going to stir some conflict. And at the end of the day, when you haven't nurtured a loving relationship, partnership with people, y'all friends, family, however the hell it goes, you're going to find yourself in this energy, sleepless nights, out in the cold from people. Because no one wants to deal with your ass. They don't want to deal with your ass. I just realized we had 5-5 five, five up. Expect the unexpected. Someone's going to see what happens when they stay stuck. Just for material things. They're going to see exactly what the hell they thought. And they're so proud of having all their freaking material possessions. All their money. When shit gets real. And their shit gets taken away because you know. Someone gonna lose. This is gonna be your energy. When you're out in the cold, when you're broke, there ain't no one gonna help your crippled ass. You see that? That bitch can give two shits and that man can't walk. She's like, fuck you, you're on your own. I'm worried about myself. You didn't give two shits before. When you find yourself alone, because you didn't take the time to nurture loving relationships. People that didn't give two fucks what the hell you had to offer. Just what you personally had to offer. They wanted to know what was in your heart, what was in your head. They wanted to build and create with you. Didn't matter what the fuck it was. Spend time with you. Didn't matter where it was, or how the hell you got there, or what the fuck you were wearing once you got there. None of that mattered. But, someone didn't nurture that kind of relationship. And now, when they're in their finery, what have you left with? The regrets? Of not building a loving, sturdy relationship that had growth and potential. Based solely on what someone saw in you and not what you fucking had. Or what you could provide. Some of y'all this could be your energy. Some of you this could just be someone around you. Someone you dealt with, right? Maybe they thought they could buy you. Because everyone else around them 
long as they had shit to give them, oh, they'd do whatever the hell they wanted, right? But the one they wanted didn't want a fucking penny from them. They pissed away. They pissed away love. And now when that conflict's showing up, and you're gonna lose it, this is your energy. You might as well just take that fucking shit out and just burn your fucking wallet because you ain't going to have it by the time it's done. When that conflict comes, some of y'all going to be bare-ass naked. You'd be lucky if you get out with the shirt on your motherfucking back. But you know what? You're going to be humbled when you're fucking uh, uh, cleaning your ass down by the fucking creek bed because that big fancy house you had, yeah, you ain't got it anymore. The spirit's gonna strip you of them fancy clothes, of them material possessions, gonna put your ass out with nothing to teach you a fucking lesson. That wheel of fortune can spin, but boy, you better make sure it's spinning in your favor. Yeah. If someone's dealing with this Queen of Wands energy, this is the other woman in my book now, y'all. Take it how it resonates. Someone, someone's dealing with an energy around them that's going to take and fucking put them swords in your back. Be prepared for it. Like I said, you might as well just take that wallet, billfold of yours, that purse, ladies, if it's a feminine energy, and just set that shit on fire because the universe going to take it from you. Someone's going to take it from you. They're not going to have it. And that wonderful life you thought you had, showing up in your fancy cars and vehicles, showing off and bragging and shit, yeah. Not no more. Not no more. Your bitch ass is going to be walking like everyone you passed, driving your fancy car, laughing at them because they're walking. Are you going to be walking? Roll reversals, guys. Roll reversals. Someone's either going through this right now, they're feeling it. They're feeling it. So there's your outcome. So whatever the hell you've been holding on to, whatever uh, stability, whatever... Whatever you thought was just so fucking important and made you so fucking better, you're going to lose it. And you're not going to have it around. It's not going to be your stability anymore. It's not going to be your, your bragging point. You're just going to be your little bare ass down by the creek washing up. Uh, and seeing who the hell's going to be there. So when You ain't got nothing to give but yourself. Okay? And maybe the one you were led to that you should have put time and attention in. They didn't want nothing more than to just get to know you. You pissed that away, didn't you? Hmm. Y'all, I don't know. Take it as it comes, guys. Take it as it comes. Peace, love, and light.